Let us see another example. In a single degree viscously damped vibrating system, the suspended mass of 16 kg makes 45 oscillations in 27 seconds. The amplitude of natural vibration decreases to one fourth of the initial value after 5 oscillations. Determine the logarithmic decrement, damping factor, damping coefficient, and the spring stiffness. So m is equal to 16 kg, mass is given as 16 kg. Damp frequency vibrations we can easily calculate from the data. There are 45 oscillations in 27 seconds. So it is 45 divided by 27, that is 1.67 oscillations per second or hertz. Now we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f, omega t is equal to 2 pi f d. So 2 pi multiplied by damp frequency that is 1.67 just now we have calculated. So omega t that is the circular frequency in radian per second is 10.47. Now number of cycles completed or oscillations completed are 5. So n is equal to 6. So x6 is equal to 1 fourth of x1 that is the amplitude after 5 cycles is 1 fourth of the initial amplitude. So x1 upon x, x6 we can easily calculate over here. So transfer this x6 on this side and 4 on this side. So x1 upon x6 is 4. And using this now we can calculate the value of logarithmic decrement. So value of n is 6 as we have already seen. So substitute the values. So it is 1 upon 5 and ln of x1 upon x6 that is nothing but 4. So we can say that we have already seen that x1 upon x6 is nothing but 4. So this value will have to substitute over here and n is equal to 6. So value of delta that is logarithmic decrement is 0 0.277. Now zeta is the damping factor. So substitute the value of delta that is 0.277 divided by square root of 4 pi square plus 0.277 square. So value of zeta comes out to be 0 0.044. So omega d will be equal to omega n square root of 1 minus zeta square. So omega n will be equal to omega d divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square. So value of omega d is 10.47. Zeta is 0 0.044 and square of that in the under root sign 1 minus zeta square value. So if you make the calculations, then you will get omega n is equal to 10.481 radian per second. Now we know that omega n, that is the natural frequency, natural circular frequency square root of k by m. So squaring both the sides, we can say that omega n square will be equal to, this square root will go, so it is k upon m. And then just cross multiply by this m over here, so we will get the value of spring stiffness also that is m omega n square so value of m is 16 and omega n is 10.481 which we have which we have calculated just now so k will be equal to 1759.63 newton per meter zeta is equal to c upon cc where cc is the critical damping coefficient so c will be equal to cross multiply to this zeta so 2 zeta square root of k m so it is 2 into 0 0.044 multiplied by under root of k m this is the value of k and this is the value of m so value of c comes out to be 14.76 newton second per meter let us see another example so here we are having a machine weighing 20 kg so mass of the machine is 20 kg and it is supported on two slabs of isolator so we are having two slab this is the slab of natural rubber having stiffness of 3000 newton per meter and damping coefficient 100 newton second per meter whereas the bottom support is of felt which is having a stiffness of 12000 newton per meter and damping coefficient is 330 newton second per meter so for this arrangement we have to find out the damped and undamped natural frequencies of the vibration in the vertical direction. So this is the arrangement of the machine. So mass of the machine, stiffness of the rubber, stiffness of the field, 
damping coefficient for rubber and for the field and these two they are in series so we can say that we have to find out the equivalent spring stiffness and equivalent damping coefficient so as they are in series we can say that 1 upon k equivalent is equal to 1 upon kr plus 1 upon kf so this is 1 upon 3000 value of kr is 3000 value of kf is 12000 so cross multiply over here so 12000 into 1 plus 3000 into 1 divided by the multiplication of this two term so that's it that is the value of reciprocal of k equivalent so k equivalent will be equal to 2400 newton per meter similarly for damping coefficient 1 upon c equivalent is equal to 1 upon cr plus 1 upon cf so here also cross multiply by 330 into 1 plus 100 into 1 divided by 100 into 330 so you will get the value of c equivalent as 76.744 newton second per minute newton second per meter so these values we we'll have to use for the further calculation so omega n will be equal to square root of now here we have to take into consideration the equivalent value of spring stiffness that is square root of 2400 mass is 20 so that calculation is 10.954 radian per second we know that damping factor is c upon cc Critical damping coefficient is 2 square root of k equivalent multiplied by m. So, value of c equivalent we have calculated that is 76.744. 2 square root of k equivalent is 2400. m is 20. So, it is 0 0.1751. Now, damped circular frequency omega d is equal to natural frequency multiplied by square root of 1 minus theta square. So, omega n is 10.954 multiplied by square root of 1 minus value of zeta is 0 0.1751 and square of that. So, this value comes out to be 10.7848 radian per second. 